Hello, City. You look excited today. Hello, Mr. Aris. I sure am excited. I just can't wait to find out what I'm going to learn today. Well, today we are going to take a look at sentence construction again. I know. It's the one with the given picture. And I have to make sentences with words given below it. Right? That's right, Siti. Today, we are going to practice making more sentences based on a given picture. Now, let's look at the picture and tell me what you see, Siti. It is a picture of an event, a farewell gathering for someone. The words given are gathering, farewell, headmaster, transferred, speech, thank, hall, held, all together. Well, just like the previous lessons, you should know by now what you have to be ready with before constructing your sentences. Yes, Mr. Aris, I have to be familiar with the nouns or naming words, the verbs or action words, the adjectives or descriptive words, and adverbs which add meaning to something absolutely right city but not only those you have to pay attention to all your tenses too yes mr aris i remember that i need to use the same tense form for all the five sentences too good and another point worth to note is to read your sentences after constructing them Check for mistakes in spelling, grammar, and punctuation. Well, after much practice, I've remembered the whole process. Good. As this is an examination, you will be assessed on specific things such as grammatically correct sentences, usage of language, and expression of ideas. Mmm, I should be able to do all that. Use a variety of sentence structures and a wide range of vocabulary to express ideas. Ideas must be clearly presented and linked well. Correct use of spelling and punctuation is necessary. I'm ready now, Mr. Aris. Yes, let's look at the picture again. Can you suggest a list of nouns that could be related to the picture? Sure, Mr. Aris. I would list down headmaster, school, teacher, student, hall, Friday, prefects. Good, City. How about some possibly related adverbs? I would suggest sadly, proudly, slowly. Now, what verbs would you use to further describe the event? Hmm, I think transferred, held, thank, gave, walk. Would be suitable. Very well, City. With a good list such as those, I think you are now ready to construct your sentences. Sure. Let me start with the first one. Last Friday, we gathered sadly to bid farewell to our headmaster. Well, 
That's a good complete sentence for a start. Continue, Siti. Mr. Ramu, our headmaster, had been transferred to another school. Another good complete one. The next sentence. The gathering was held in the school hall. Hmm, that's a very clear description. How about the next one? The head prefect proudly gave a speech to thank Mr. Ramu. That's a good usage of the adverb proudly, Siti. So, let me hear the last sentence now. All the teachers and students walk slowly together to stand Mr. Ramu off. Very good, Siti. For the purpose of the examination, I can safely say that all the sentences you gave were complete and need no further modifications. You should be able to score good marks if you keep it this way. Thanks, Mr. Aris, for giving me the confidence. The truth is, I've learned so much from you all this while. So, wouldn't you like to read all the sentences again for your friends out there? Why not, Mr. Aris? Last Friday, we gathered sadly to bid farewell to our headmaster. Mr. Ramu, our headmaster, had been transferred to another school. The gathering was held in the school hall. The head prefect proudly gave a speech to thank Mr. Ramu. All the teachers and students walked slowly together to send Mr. Ramu off. So, Siti, what are the final tips you want to share with your friends? Use the keywords to help you only if you know their meaning. Be careful with the tenses used. Read your sentences after you have made them to check for mistakes in spelling, grammar, and punctuation. Use a wide range of vocabulary to express your ideas. A lot of reading shall help you on this one. Very well, Siti. We have finally come to the end of our discussions with regards to the UPSR English examination for English Paper 2. I can see that you have tremendously improved in your writing since our first lesson. I have to thank you too, Mr. Aris, for guiding me. I'll continue practicing on my own. So, friends... It has been a great pleasure to have the chance to be with you. I certainly hope our discussions have been able to give clearer ideas to guide you in your examination. And never forget to keep referring to your teachers too as they are always ready to assist you. All right, Siti. That's all for now. Till we meet again. Bye. Bye, Mr. Aris. Bye. Bye.